Just under 4,300 pounds, J Flight 212 QB here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is simple, basic, good for starters or casual campers. Uh, you know, have you had the family pop up and you're trying to find something that's hard sided? This would work. Tired of the old hybrid? This would work. Looking for simple and easy? Are you afraid of slide outs? Do you have a limited tow capacity? Once again, this would work. Now this model does a lot of things nicely. And there's a bunch of brands that build something very similar, like also very popular would be the hyper similar 20RDSE Grey Wolf here at Halet RV. But this little J Flight, it's done some things that in, in this layout that you don't usually find in the business. Like it, LED lighting has become pretty common. It's still not 100% across the board, but in a small no slide camper like this, you don't often run into centralized air. Now, it's the same power air conditioner as uh, like on anything else on the roof, but it is nice that it's centralized because it'll give you a little more uh, airflow efficiency. And one of the cool things about Jayco also making some high-end full-time living fifth wheels is that they have nicer hardware laying around. Like your air ducts here, you can not only just open them, but you can turn them as well. So if you don't want the air blowing right on you in one place or another, you can actually move that. Now, another thing here that's really cool is this is taller inside. This is uh, six foot nine interior height versus six and a half foot, like most campers, especially less expensive basic campers tend to usually be shorter so that they can squeeze every ounce of money out of it they possibly can. And that's what's neat about these J flights, especially stuff like this 212. It's one of the price leaders here at Halet RV. Yet, it's got all the good smart equipment that you're really looking for. But first, I want to back up. It's carpetless. It's easy cleaning. It's no slide. There's a lot of people out there who are what I call slide skeptics. They're like, you know, is it possible that a slide out could, could leak on me? I've read something on forums. Well, it's possible that your car's engine could blow up today. But there's things that are possible and things that just aren't likely. But if that doesn't give you the comfort and peace of mind you need to make a purchase then I don't think you should purchase a camper with a slide out. And that's where stuff like this comes in. If you like this, but you want a little more ritzy and, and upscale, I recommend you look at the 204RD Freedom Express here at Halet RV. But something I want to point out right here that we just looked at. The bathroom is right next to the entry door and being carpetless, it is extremely easy to get in here, to keep the camper clean, to get in and out to the bathroom. Um, you know, you're never gonna track a lot of dirt and foot traffic through it. Now, most brands will have a big Udynet back here. This is one of the more uncommon qualities of this J Flight. And I think one of the reasons is that having a sofa and a dinette actually costs uh, the manufacturer a little more money. And again, this is a class and category where everyone's trying to be as price aggressive as possible. And uh, that extra seating though, is just, it's a really nice thing having a true comfy four person seater. Now, all the windows you see are UV tinted. They all open for airflow and they're all fully trimmed out. So when you pull those pleated shades down, they have a, a little bit better, nicer anchors and they seem to just work a little better and uh, more reliably. That's pretty obvious why this could be a great couples coach with the, the layout and the features and whatnot. But what's cool is it's actually fairly good for guests. Now, a lot of brands that make a floor plan like this, they'll have one giant U-Dinette. I kind of like that Jayco went a little different with a dinette and a sofa. Because if you do have like a grandkid for the weekend, you have a spot to put them down, but you could still come back in the morning and sit down and have a cup of coffee. Like half the camper isn't eaten up. Now it's an open concept camper without like a privacy wall. But since, you know, the guest sleeping's all the way in the back and the master bed's in the front with kind of the kitchen and the bathroom in between, it still feels like it has a decent level of privacy to it. It's a really smart design. From here, I want to zero in on some storage and entertainment options. Um, the upper corner up here, if you want to add a TV, you can see the little sticker on the wall indicating, hey man, go ahead and throw a flat screen up here. You're going to have a good time. You could probably put a 24 inch something simple up there pretty easy. Um, if you wanted to maybe drop it down here, you might have a little more. Now what's cool is with this being a wood skeleton trailer, there's studs all over in the wall for you to tap into. So you don't necessarily have to put the TV just right there. There's different places that you can put it if you are so inclined. Neat little thing here, and this is another one of those little things that Jayco does a little bit more, is they actually run HDMI wiring from their Furion Entertainment System here. So this is a basic Bluetooth stereo, pardon me, IRV Entertainment System. They both make something very similar. Um, the point here is, this is a basic camper. 
basic entertainment makes sense. But there are some people who are like, listen, I want a basic camper, but man, I like my Blu-ray movies, or what have you. Or I'm going to bring my Amazon streaming stick, or what have you. Well, this gives you an HDMI port and a USB plug to charge those things, or you could actually um, plug those directly into your uh, TV here, you know? So they give you expandable entertainment options, which is one of the reasons they have this pocket up here. Now, all of our cabinetry is pocket screwed, not particle board that's been pressed together and then kind of stapled in place. So this is uh, better, higher grade, longer lasting cabinetry. And with the camper being taller, you actually are getting more of it, you know, because if the cabinets are taller, they have more space in them, just logically. Now, down here, the countertops compared to the previous generation have been upgraded to a pressed membrane, which means they're just far more water resistant. Um, it's just another one of those nicer, kind of like the cabinetry things, longevity things, and that's one of the reasons why this camper has basically double the warranty of anybody else in, the, in this class. There are really not any other manufacturers of which I'm aware of making a starter class camper that is built for longer term ownership with a double length warranty. Things like the nicer plywood box drawers that we have here. And first of all, the fact that we have drawers in a basic more starter class camper. A lot of them do not. A lot of them will give you a cabinet door here to save on the money of a drawer. Uh, you know, a couple bucks here and there, it seems like, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's it's stepping over a, a nickel to pick up a penny, and Jayco doesn't do that in this little basic class here. I also like that they give you a nice space for a wastebasket under the sink and even under the oven. They don't just, like, panel that off and block it off because it would be easier and less expensive. Again, they make sure that you can always, always use it. Now, even over the sofa, you've got extra storage. And again, the, the U-Dinette models, some of this overhead storage, they just can't match due to the, uh, the furniture placement and how it would kind of interfere with headroom. Beside the refrigerator, we also have this very handy six foot nine pantry. So uh, if you need, you know, all that extra mac and cheese storage space or whatever, mac and cheese seems to be my go-to, you get the idea. Um, we took a glance at the bathroom a second ago, but let's go ahead and finish this off if I can sneak up here. Um, so we do have a, a handy user-friendly foot flush toilet, easy peasy kind of stuff. And I like how you have that little cutaway by your shoulder level so that um, you don't necessarily like have to feel like you're squeezing into a coffin. To, to use the bathroom, you know, like if you've ever had to use a uh, like a porta john kind of thing at a public music festival or something like that, you're always like you've got your elbows tucked into your sides as tightly as possible because you just don't want to touch anything. You don't feel like that in here. You feel like you've got room to spread out. And being a taller camper means we have a taller shower. So taller folks like myself, this is something I really like. It's why when I go camping, I tend to go camping in a J flight because I can stand in the shower. And again a more base level camper, but they're still giving you the protective shower wall surround paneling. And what this does, guys, it's not that it necessarily saves the walls from water damage. It's, it's that it saves the walls from water damage if you don't want to take a towel to wipe down the walls after every shower. So it's not that this is necessarily a make or break thing. It's a comfort, convenience, user, easy type thing. And I like that they have that in here. Uh, what you have to watch is a lot of brands, what they'll do is they'll hide it with the curtain, but when you get here, they'll change from a, a, a like a tan wallboard to a white wallboard. So you think you're getting this, but you're not. And that's the kind of tricky, crafty stuff you have to watch out for in this business, guys. And that's why I put these videos together so that you can see exactly what the deal here is. Now, you do have a privacy curtain for this front bed. So if you do want to close that off so that if somebody comes in the front door, they're not looking at you in bed, you can do that. Your uh, hanging closets on both sides of the beds, right below those, you have big, wide open side stands. And you have some household outlets there. Someone the other day said, yeah, but there's no USB plugs. And I get it. USBs are handy. But guys, for $2.99 at Walmart or a gas station, you can get a household to USB adapter with two plugs on it. There you go. If that's literally, if, if that's the thing that's stopping you from buying this camper, I will personally buy you the USB plug. No joke. No joke. There's a promise from your Uncle Josh. Um, the uh, bedding, I like that we've got a, it's a nice bedding set. The bedspread's actually optional on this, but it looks good. It completes the look. And it's actually like the, the same kind of things that you'll get in like a, a Jayco Eagle. They're not using just like a, a cheap slip sheet here. And obviously this bed is easy lift with those gas struts right there um, below that uh, plywood bed deck. And those are a couple things that more basic entry level campers in this class category and price point often lack are those bed struts and a, uh, a better quality bed deck. Um, 
One more thing to mention here, up here in the bedroom, you're going to find a, a very nice removable TV mount. If you choose to add a TV into your bedroom right here, one, it's nice that they already mounted uh, where it would go for you. But the second thing is, you're going to find a, uh, if I can get my hands on it and get the thing out of here, I'm not a lefty. Um, you can, uh, you've can you got a detachable mount right here with a matching mount on the outside of the RV. So if you want to make one TV kind of float around the bedroom or the outside of the camper, you can do that too. Another thing with this one here, is it camping supposed to just be fun, right? Well, sometimes simple is easy, and sometimes easy is fun. And I think uh, that's why a lot of times when I go camping, you'll find me in like a 264 BH J Flight SLX. You know, this is the same type of camper I'll often camp in myself. Well, it's because it's simple, it's easy, it's not complicated. It's, it's, it's a simple camper to just simply Get out, get away from the house, and unplug for a couple days, and get yourself kind of re-centered and kind of rebalanced, you know? Um, full pass-through storage, and note that both sides of the camper have extra wide and extra tall baggage doors, which is something I like about these, because I like to carry bigger totes, and I have more room to put some big totes or bigger chairs or anything like that down here. Now, you're going to find a, like, a best-in-class outside uh, marker lighting package on these J flights. Um, it starts with the fact that they're all LED lights, tail marker, everything, but they also top seal all exterior components on your Jayco's, even here at their most basic travel trailer level for quality and longevity. Now, if you look down at the tongue of the camper, you're gonna see a little blue sticker next to those white propane tanks. That is where your little simple solar prep plug would be located if you do plan to do some off-grid camping. But as long as you're looking down at that tongue, and let me zoom in here a little bit because black on black can be harder to see. Note that the tongue actually integrates directly into the chassis. Every single Jayco rides on a custom engineered chassis. They do all their own engineering um, so that every chassis is built to the specific specs, needs, and demand of each individual floor plan that they build. Better engineering allows for a better um, you know, uh, warranty, quality of service records, etc. And again, not an accident since 2005, the J-Flight's been the number one selling RV out there. That's, a, that's an impressive set of qualities, ladies and gentlemen. Um, all the windows are tinted. That's a thing you don't always get at a conventional camper category, meaning wood skeleton aluminum frame. Uh, this keeps the nosy neighbors out. It also keeps the sun out. It helps you uh, avoid furniture fade and excess heat from the sun. Um, and we do have a full outside utility shower, which is sharp. So if you, you know, need to rinse your feet off, if you've been walking around someplace sandy, you want to do some campsite cleanup, it's next to your dump station, all kinds of good stuff. And here's the best in class feature. How about Goodyear Endurance tires rated for 87 miles per hour at 80 PSI, meaning you don't have to go to some kind of specialty tire shop with some crazy industrial air compressor to try to keep your tires properly inflated. Better quality American source tires here, even at the most basic thing they make. And God forbid you do still catch some kind of debris, they're still putting a galvanized steel wheel well in every single J flight so that you, uh, you know, God forbid you have that blowout, you're gonna have that extra level of protection. Now I mentioned best in class uh, marker lighting package. That's where the smart light system comes in. It stands for uh, S-M-A-R-T, signals, markers, and reverse travel. So when you flip on your left blinker, not just the tail light will blink, but all of the side clearance lights, and then your uh, you've got these extra upper marker lights back here, those are gonna blink along with the signal. And then what's more, when you shift into reverse, you're going to see that uh, you've actually got a white element built into these tail lights now to give you more light and you're backing up in the morning or at night. Now, more and more brands, I've noticed very quickly, um, jumped on board that reverse travel thing because it's an easy thing to wire. But the, the side clearance and upper marker light thing that Jayco has going on here, that is exclusive to them currently. It was pioneered last year by the Eagle series and Jayco has since then uh, begun to roll it out across the rest of the family. And it's just one more area of safety and concern you get here. Let me run down construction real quick because there are unique construction points here too as well. Starting with this uh, Magnum Trust full walk-on roof. This is the heavy, heaviest constructed roof in this class and category. Uh, it is rated for 4,200 pounds. The next closest is gonna be 2,800, which is still plenty. But again, if you have extra structure here, that is gonna help keep the, the chassis and the structure from twisting and shaking and bending. It's a big deal. Um, so you've got 5 8 tongue and groove plywood, or pardon me, 3 8 tongue and groove plywood roof decking. 
instead of OSB. This is a, a virtually exclusive product in that class, uh, in, in that respect, having plywood roof decking. The five inch Magnum Truss uh, roof system with the larger nail plates and the, the more protection given to all your wiring that runs through the roof so you don't have wiring issues. Um, we uh, come down to the floor, we have 5 8 tongue and groove plywood flooring with 2 by 3 floor studs set every 12 inches on center. It's a heavy duty structure for a simple basic camper. Just because it's simple, just because it's less expensive doesn't mean it has to be cheap or poorly constructed. And this is proof of that. This also has a pretty generously sized power awning back here. And uh, what I like is it goes well past both the main entry door and bedroom window, as well as this uh, living room window here. So it just always kind of has like a, a, a sort of good look, good feel to it, you know? You always feel like you're getting some shade. Um, having no slides or anything on the door side of the camper here, with this being a no slide camper, it just it gives you maximum patio space, and there's always plenty of room to keep some chairs, a picnic table, uh, what have you. Now this awning over here has a couple neat things going on with it. So it's a power awning, you can see up there that it does have LED lighting, but it also has a couple of neat things with the arms. Um, three of them, actually. It's got an auto rain dump feature, which is what that gas strut is. If it starts to rain hard, the awning will actually drop down on one side to spill off some rain and then pick itself back up. Pretty simple, but pretty smart and effective. But if you want to, like, hard crank the thing a little bit, you've got these little adjustable pegs right here, and as long as the pegs on each side are within uh, two or three notches of one another, you can actually close and open the awning like that. Now, that is your outside speaker, and I like that it's down low, I like that it always kind of points at your campsite, and it also means that there's one less three or four inch hole in the sidewall of your camper that you have to contend with, so that's pretty handy. Directly under the middle of the awning, if you remember that uh, bedroom TV bracket earlier, that's where this would go. So you've got outside TV hookups on this, which is uh, pretty darn slick and handy. And that pretty much wraps this one up. This is a simple, smart, no nonsense, no slide, no carpet, easy towing, easy living couples camper. And little, you know, things like that has made this just immensely popular here at Halet RV. So whether it is hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, or anything in between, we do it all at Halet RV so you don't have to. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone. And remember, it doesn't matter how far away you live, we make deals happen every day.